Hi all, I'm going to go over the S3 composition task that you had to do. Um, hold on a second now. Oh yeah, here we go. Because um, I know some people had great difficulty with it. Um, so I'm going to go through it, give you the answers and tell you how I got to these answers. Okay, yeah, this is a blank one, just checking. Um, okay, so uh, assuming that you looked at the PowerPoint or the PDF, you will know how to form a chord. So in the PowerPoint, it said to form a three-note three chord, you need the root, the third, and the fifth. I know this might sound a bit like, what is she talking about? But if you look here, the root simply just means the very first note of the chord. So the first one is done here, C major, so therefore the root is C. Okay, and then the third, you just count up three from that C. Now, I didn't say in the PowerPoint, and I should have, that you include the C when you're counting. That's why I put in this little piano, because it's easier to see it on a piano or a keyboard. And if you don't have one at home, it's quite difficult to do that. So I put a little picture here. Apologies if you can hear traffic in the background sitting by my window at my piano. So for the first chord, C major, First note is C, so we start in C, now count up three. One, two, three, you end on G, or sorry, E, you end on E. So that is a third, C, D, E, that's our third. And then you count up five from C to get the fifth. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, and then you end up on G, and that is your fifth. And that's how you get your root, which is just the first note, your third and your fifth. So I'm, I'm sitting here on my piano, if I play the root, I'll turn it up, is C, third, E, fifth, is G. Then you play them all together, and you form a chord. So that's literally it, you're playing three notes together to form a chord. So now for F, all you have to do is start on F, because F is now your root note. So if you, you can move up or down to F, doesn't matter. So let's go down to F. F is our root. Now we need to put in our third and our fifth. So count up three from F. F, G, A. That's our F. There's our A. Now we need a fifth. So count up F, G, A, B, C. And there is our F chord. So you just type that in. F. A, C. That's our first, third, fifth. Okay, now A minor. It doesn't matter if it's A major, A minor. Um, we have an A minor chord in this instance, but same rule applies. So A is going to be our root note, our first note. You count up three. So I'll fill that in there. A. That's what's missing. Um, now we need our fifth. So we know from a to C is a third. Now we count five up from A. A, B, C, D, E. And you can hear that sounds a little bit dark. That's why it's a minor chord. Okay. A, C, E. Now I left one totally blank to see if you could do it yourself. Um, it's a G chord, therefore our root note is G. Let's assume that you were speaking to me there. And then you count up three from G. You end up on B. So you put your B in there. Now count up five from G. G, A, B, C, D. You end up on D. And there is your G major chord. Now D minor, same rules apply, but you start on D. So that will be your very first note. You don't have to put a little in beside it. Um, the minor just refers to the, the whole chord when it's played together. Now count up three from D to get the third. D, E, F. So we need an F in here. And then A will make up your fifth. So D. And as you can tell, that sounds quite dark. It is a minor chord. Last one. Um, e minor, so your root is E, count up three, E, F, G, 
So it is G that we're missing. And then B is our fifth. That's also a minor chord. You can hear that sounds quite dark. So there are your answers for the first one. Um, quite straightforward, although some people just, the minute they look at it, they're like, what is this? I have no idea. Um, the second task is slightly more difficult because I was hoping that once you had typed out the first one, that you'd get used to the notes in each chord and you'd start to remember them. Okay, F is F A C, A minor is A C E, and um, but you can just go up and check if you don't remember them. So this is it's kind of the same thing. You're just filling out the three notes of the chord, but you're putting them going down. Okay, I know that probably confused people, but I mean it kind of tests your knowledge on the notes of the chord. So C has been done for you. And since we are in C major, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C is our number one, D is our number two chord, E is our number three chord, that should be a small I, sorry. F is our four, G is our five, and so on. So our C major chord, you can see the letters C, E, G, they're just going down. That's the only difference here, they're going down the ways. Okay. So obviously I haven't put in, I've left it all blank, so you're kind of, you're on your own at this stage. Um, so if you remember the root note of D minor, I mean, it's kind of in the, it's in the name of the chord, D, the root note is D. So you just type D in there. And now if you count up three from D, if you want to go back up and use your piano, you can. I'm hoping that you'll start to remember um, or even just figure it out in your head so that once it comes to writing your composition, it'll just be easier to do it. So D, E, F. F is our third. Then D, E, F, G, A. A is our fifth. There is our D minor chord. Okay, I'm just going to fill these out quickly. E is our root, root note for E minor. E, F, G is our third. And then E, G, B is our fifth. Now, I just know these off by heart, obviously, because I've been doing this for years. So if someone says to me, what's the chord of G major? You just say G, B, D. And I'm trying to get you to that stage so you don't have to think about it as much. Okay, F major, your root note is F. Now you just go down, put in your third. Now, if you want to go back up, just to check it, to clarify. Where is your F? Here it is, number two. And there is your three letters there that you need to make up the F major chord. So you're literally just typing them in, but you're going in a different direction. F, A, and C. I wasn't trying to catch you out by doing the different direction. I was just trying to test your knowledge. Okay, G major, your root note is G. Third note is B. Fifth note, D. G, B, D. A minor, root note is A. Count of three, A, B, C. Then count of five from A, A, B, C, D, E. B diminished, don't worry too much about this one. Um, you won't really be using it. But anyways, same rules. Root note is B, count of three, B, C, D is your third. Count of five from B, B, C, D, E, F is your fifth. And then you're back to C, which is the same. And that is how you do it. And there are your answers. So if you want to, if yours hasn't been marked yet and you want to go back and redo it or check the answers, then feel free to do that. I have marked a lot of mine already. Um, most of them were actually okay, but I know some people were just putting down ridiculous things. So I hope this clarifies things for you. And um, the extension task, I mean, don't worry about that too much. That was just to go on and watch a video I made last lockdown um, about the next steps, but there's no rush. And I just want to get everyone to do the basics first um, and then we'll all move on to the rest of the composition together. So I hope that was helpful and good luck with your next, next task. I will record a video to go along with that as well that might explain it a little bit better. All right, good luck. Bye.